Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS. It is Florida State Week for the University of Miami. The Knowles have an incredible secondary, so it's going to be a big game for Hurricane wide receiver Tommy Streeter, who so far is having an incredible turnaround season. He came to the University of Miami as one of the prize recruits, but his first couple of years, it didn't work out for him. But now as a redshirt junior, with a new approach of being humble and hardworking, Streeter has changed his fortune. We had it at home, Miami Gardens. Definitely different from Coral Gables. Just the housing alone. You don't see a lot of people walking. A lot of kids just outside. Sometimes you wonder where their parents are. But hey, sure enough, it's home. The best part about being home, I say, is the atmosphere, the love. Home to me is a place of protection a place of love. The company, the comfort, the uplifting. A place of unity, a place where you could be free to be who you are. Okay, here's some more pictures back here of Mr. TJ as a baby. Just the fact that I could be me and leave football, you know, at the University of Miami, I could just be TJ. That's the best part about being home. It's a blessing every time I see him. He adds so much life and so much joy to my home. My niece, when I see her, she instantly brings joy. I don't know, something about her smile. Just, you know, it could change my whole mood. I know his joy is his family, his loved ones. Like, a lot of times he just come home, he said, well, I just want to be home. I just want to be around my family. Family means everything to me because I feel like they're my backbone. You know, when times get hard, those are the people, you know, who I go to for comfort, for support. Um, you know, they've been with me when I wasn't playing, when I was playing. Everything that I am today is because of them. He hadn't gotten a lot of opportunities, you know, based on whatever, you know, injuries or just his situation as a student athlete here. So he was a guy that just didn't have a lot of confidence in himself. I think he knew what he could do, but he just hadn't done it in so long, he felt like he kind of lost the mojo or the, the magic that comes with being a skilled player. When I first got here, he was considered kind of uh, an introvert or a recluse, so to speak. I was always quiet. Didn't talk much. But then when you get to know him, he's got this brilliant smile. He's got the, an incredible smile, a very heartwarming smile. And we would just always say to him, you know, smile more, you know, and be happy and, and, and have a great attitude about the opportunity that you have today. In the spring, I became more vocal because, you know, I felt like I had a fresh start. Um, I was around the same guys, but the environment changed for some reason. Um, with the new coaching staff, I felt comfortable. I could be me. Ultimately, it's incumbent upon the young man, the student athlete, in this case, Tommy, to say, okay, what choices have I been making? Well, how has my attitude uh, been towards the program and my skill development? And then ultimately, what do I need to change? I tried to set a little peak, they were running straight at me. I had to stick with it. Um, my parents did a great job of supporting, reassuring me that looking at the situation in a positive light instead of getting down on myself, to look at the situation as, you know, that I'm a, a big time playmaker. I just need an opportunity, and you know, that's the approach I took to the situation. From the day we got here till today, he's working harder every single day to maximize his ability. He just really bought into everything that Coach Golden has tried to, to bring here. The thing that we got to see, and we're not doing a good job, I got to do a better job of it, is that we got to see the rotation, see the safety coming down. My coaching staff pushing me in the springtime, waking up 5.30, 6 o'clock, sometimes before UTEF, watching film with Coach McDonald to see what happens. If we get him, just pin him in there. If you're going to be a great receiver, you have to pin in extra time on your own. And I think that's something that he's done is, you know, he, he stays after to catch balls. He comes early to catch balls. He watches more tape. And I think he takes this more serious than he's ever taken it before. Coach McDonald, he does a great job of, you know, challenging me day in and day out. And if I don't make a play in practice to finish on the note where I do make the play, you know, I, I rep that play or run that route. Um, numerous of times and um, to the point where I'm comfortable in it. If you want to capture uh, the essence of his development and how his confidence developed, go back to Maryland and watch him catch the ball against his body and then watch each successive game how he starts to trust his hands. He trusts his hands in Ohio State. He throws for Streeter. It's caught at the 20. He catches the ball up here against Kansas State. Harris to the end zone. Caught touchdown. Tommy Streeter. He catches a back pad on the sideline against North Carolina. 
Harris throwing deep down the sideline. It is caught by Streeter. Did he hold on? Yes, yes, he did. I guess North Carolina was kind of a breakout game for him. And then all of a sudden, as it happens in Miami all the time, you know, it takes on a persona of its own. Harris to Tommy Streeter. Touchdown, Tommy Streeter.